my god. That's gotta hurt. Hey, what's going on? Rob back with another reaction. Today, we're gonna be checking out a little... Sorry. A little actioner. We're checking out the beekeeper, bro. A little Statham action for your ass. Now, normally, I'm like the horror movie guy, but hey, dude. It's dr dry out there right now. And who doesn't love a good little dumb, fun action movie every now and then? And to me, I think Jason Statham is like one of the last graphs of some type of action star that we still have. You know, in the 80s, we had Arnold, Sylvester, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal, fuck, Chuck Norris. But nowadays, man, all those guys are old and we don't really have, I guess, Keanu Reeves, but you know what I'm talking about. So, support my boy Statham. And this looked like it would be fun, so let's give it a watch. It's available to rent for $20, so this better be good. $20. Hell yeah. The beekeeper. That is kind of an odd occupation. You know, my old boss used to keep bees. I don't understand it, but hey, you know, bees are good for the environment. We need them to survive, right? Oh, dude, Jeremy Irons is in this? Nice. There's the nest. Let's go. Is that Statham? To be honest, that'd be kind of a cool, like, little slasher outfit, you know, for a killer. That's them in there, just like that? <laughs> Look at that fit. I'll stay right here, thank you. Those things scare me to death. Me too. I don't mess with bees at all. I'm not allergic or anything, but no. You're a blessing. No one's ever taken care of me before. Hmm. Come back at supper time. Let me feed you. Aw. Oh, wow. Just took them all out. Oh, no. The hard drive is infected. Got something? I got yeah. I got one. Oh, is this a scam? It's got to be a scam, right? It's part of the software package that you pre-installed on your computer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a computer person. Wow, this is what they do, right? They just scam. It's mostly old people who fall for this stuff. I have no idea how to do that. My daughter set up everything for me. <sighs> you will lose all your data since they'll have to replace the hard drive. They get you to install, like, an app, and then they get all your your information, right? Okay, can you, uh, can you type this? Friendly friend... Dot uh, this is brutal to watch. Okay, I hope you fucking clowns are paying attention. Is that how all these scammers are too? They're all in like a big building where they're all like hacking and scamming people. IRA, teacher's pension, and ho oh, holy fucking shit. Oh wow, she's got a ton of money. All right, kids, let the strip mining begin. Ooh. My computer's going crazy. Totally normal. Just do not touch your keyboard. Evil, dude. These people are the scum of the earth, man. I tell you. That's an account that I manage. Can you log into that account and verify the transfer, please, Ms. Parker? Don't do it. I made a terrible mistake. I was supposed to credit you 500, but I know I got a, a stuck key here. Oh, so you got to send money back and then... Is that the scam? Okay, so the second we get it, we zero out everything. <sighs> I can't watch this, man. I, um, I think I should call the bank. Yeah, call the bank. <sighs> Too trusting, man. Too trusting. <laughs> wow. Just like that. Oh, my goodness. They took everything. Oh. oh, wow. The sweet old woman. And her charity money, too. Oh. <sighs> Do you think with a transfer like that, you could call the bank and, like, decline the transfer? Or is it already over at this point? 
I will take a glass of that honey, though. I love honey. Speaking of honey, how you doing? You want to watch some Statham? See, she's not even scared. She's badass. Oh, no. Don't move. What? Hands behind your back. What happened? Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my mother's house? Oh, it's her daughter. Okay. Who's a cop, I guess? I'm so sorry. Well, how do you know my... Wow. The old woman just... Blah. That's sad. I was bringing her a jar of honey. Who the fuck are you, Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> I keep bees. I'm a beekeeper. You got a law enforcement background? I told you I'd take care of bees. You already know this dude's probably like ex-Navy SEAL something. You know he's got a background that he's hiding or whatever. I mean, it's classic. All these movies do that, and I love it. That is really sad about the the mother, though. She didn't really seem like the type to do something like that, you know? But, hey, she lost all of her money. I'd love to see some of those scammers try and get me. It's like, dude, what are you going to take the $16 out of my checking account? <laughs> Go for it, bro. I need to apologize for last night. I realize I may have been a little aggressive. That's right. Could I interest you in something a bit stronger? No, but I'll sit with you if you like. I like how he doesn't even pretend to do like an American accent. He's just like, fuck it, dude. It used to be a part of life for the family. Part of the hive, I guess you could say. <laughs> part of the hive, yeah. She wouldn't leave. You know what I'm noticing so far? Little subtle touches. Is that a lot of the background is like that yellowy honey colored. Yeah, you know, it's got a hue to it. She was an educator, director of a charity for kids. She seems like she was a good woman. That definitely didn't deserve this. I mean, nobody deserves this. Taking from an elderly person is as bad as stealing from a child. Maybe worse. That's kind of true, man. You're scamming older people, elderly people. That is totally disgraceful. And yeah, like he said, it's worse than taking money from a child, in my opinion. I need to take care of the hive. Gotta get back to my bees. <laughs> you would be driving an old cool truck like that. Thought you retired. I did. I need a favor. I knew he was like ex CIA or something like that. Need some standby. You see, he's got just like the bat phone. He can call up. Sure. But who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Hell yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. The hell are you thinking? <laughs> oh, that's sick. I'm going inside. I'm going to burn it down. <laughs> You're not going any fucking where except right the fuck back the way you came. Do you know what they do here? Do you know who you're talking to, man? Do you know that's who you work for? Ooh, yeah. Easy. That was light work for your boy. Tell any other companies in the building to evacuate now. There's gonna be a fire. <laughs> I like how he's just up front with it. Like, I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Sticking my thing here. Ah, 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 ah. up the phone. Oh man. Repeat after me. I will never steal from the weak, the vulnerable again. Man, they do not know who they're messing with here. I know what's going on. With <laughs> I will never steal from the weak and the vulnerable again. I will never steal from the weak. <laughs> I would fold so fast. And I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Nice. Might be a good time to go home. Oh <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What the fuck? Bro? What the fuck you- Oh, this dude. I'm a beekeeper. Sometimes I use fire to smoke out hornets. <laughs> Asshole. Okay, so you can't come up here white knighting shit. Oh, dude. He's about to open a can of whoop ass. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> nice! <laughs> you fucking get him! You fucking get him! Oh man. <laughs> but you feel really proud of yourself. <laughs> That's my man right there. I like how he does it all hand to hand too. Like he doesn't need guns. I'm giving all of the gasoline fumes in here. Promise you. It's gonna be a big boom. That's cool. He rigged up something so the next call that happens. Uh, guys, we might want to dip out. Yeah, you better run. Here we go. Damn, he was not playing around. That was pressure, of course, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Did we get the... <laughs> Is this Hutcherson? <laughs> Fucking PETA, dude. Disgruntled customer. Uh, I just can't comprehend why you're bothering me. Oh, Hutcherson's the bad guy? He's like the mastermind behind these scams? No way. Yeah, the call center's gone. <laughs> I'm standing here staring at a 30 That is an interesting casting choice. Seriously. I do like how they gave him like frosted tips and those earrings to make him look like such a douchebag. Had a call center and someone burned it down, maybe killed some people, you could get him, right? Yeah, and Jeremy Irons. And you're gonna look at anyone connected to the last few deals you closed, alright? I don't know, start there. Josh Hutcherson is the bad guy. I never thought I'd see it. I like it though. I think that's kind of fun. That's him. Oh, they found him. You know what? He breaks my shit. You break his shit. Oh, no. He ain't going like that. I'm about to come out of retirement. Let's go. Here's that yellow tint again, man. You know what I'm talking about? Come out, fucking face us! <laughs> Sick. Bye, bitch. Now, let's go. This tough guy. Let's see how tough you really are, bro. <laughs> oh wow! Silent assassin. I love it. Oh, <laughs> you see the tooth? Yeah. <laughs> At first I was like, is he not killing these people? He's one of those peaceful people, but no, he's definitely murking these guys. We, we, we can talk about this. We, we can talk about this. Let's just work this out, me and you. We can fix this. Ooh, got his fingers. <laughs> nice. So... I need to start reacting to more action movies, dude. This is the bomb. I don't know how you guys are feeling about this movie, but I'm loving it so far. Because apparently your mother's house is on fire too. And some other shit. Let's Wait, go. What? Oh, wow. Oh, man. What a tool. I I'm so sorry, Mr. Danforth. Did you fuck this up? Are you, are you fucking crying right now? <laughs> he... Who the fuck is he? Tell me who he is right now. He's a beekeeper. I don't know, a fucking, fucking beekeeper. Yeah. I don't know, he said he was, like, protecting the hive or something. Oh, fuck, man! Oh, shit! He's, he want, I, got, I got fucking NFT! What are you, what are you fucking... He's got NFTs. <laughs> oh, man. You're done, bro. Ah! You're done. <laughs> Oh my god. You burned up my million dollar fucking call center. Now I'm gonna burn you down. Yeah. You are fucking with forces that you cannot comprehend. You sound young. You sound like a little bitch boy, to be honest. And this is your data mining consumer service business, right? You mean your scam center? Your data mining? <laughs> Gee. You've disturbed the beekeeper. <laughs> If a beekeeper says you're gonna die, you're gonna die. There's nothing I could do or anybody else. What? What does he know that we don't know? He's probably the last 
pair of eyes that you're going to sneer at. Weird. So that guy used to be ex CIA, so he knows who this dude is. I ran his prints through every database I could think of. No hits. Oh, that's the classic trope. When they try and look somebody up, he's a ghost. No history. Jessica. I think you know why I'm calling. You know what I need to look up? This movie made me think of. Have you heard the term of beekeeping age thrown around? I keep seeing that. It's like an internet thing. I never knew what it meant. Beekeeping age. There it is. First result. Oh, <laughs> okay. So when you say this, this guy is of beekeeping age, think of it generally as a term for an attractive man in his 40s or 50s. Okay. Director Harwood, my young friend, seems to have caught the unwanted attentions of a beekeeper. That's so weird. Is the beekeeper like a code name for somebody? Like a special agent or something? So your problem? He's retired from the program. Of course. The current active beekeeper is aware of the issue and is going to be taking things from here. Is that Minnie Driver from Goodwill Hunting? If it is, what's she doing in this movie? Oh man, they're recruiting another beekeeper to take out the beekeeper. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Oh, damn. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, here we go. I'm assuming you're my replacement. Damn. <laughs> Just ragdolling her. Man. Oh. Bitch, she's getting her ass kicked. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Yeah, covered her in honey. Oh, man. You know what I noticed is Statham's signature move? He does that kick. That's like his final move. I wonder why he's wearing like the baseball hat. Do you think that's to hide like stuntmen when he's doing action scenes? Beekeeping for beekeepers. I scared Stell. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't handle. That's what I thought. Here's another reason that Anna Sitlandris is like our good friend Adam Clay. You know, it keeps cutting back to these cops, and I know that it's necessary for the plot to move forward, and he can't just have it all be Statham, but every time it goes back to this little B plot, I'm like, just get back to Statham. He was there, man, for fuck's sake. Sorry, Wallace. You're on your own. The government's like, we sent our person, and he took him out. You're on your own. How are you, my friend? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Looks like he's got, he's building a team here to take down the beekeeper. Our nation is not unlike a beehive. Oh, brother. There are programs even I wasn't privy to, like beekeepers. <laughs> Given all resources, empowered to act on their own. This is kind of a side tangent, but you know it's a new scam that I think is going around, and I've actually experienced this myself. I've gotten these texts from... Just a random number and it says your usps package was not able to be delivered follow this link to confirm this is your order me being really smart of course i never click on the link but i looked it up and it's like if you click on the link it'll send you to a website that looks like the postal service and it says yeah your package wasn't able to be delivered but you need additional information here and then as soon as you get that you're fucked no oh. Keep an eye out for that scam. Before he accomplishes his goal. What would that be? To kill his way to the top of the hive. Yeah. See, this is what I want. I'm glad this movie's not taking itself seriously. It knows it's cheesy as hell. And it's playing into that. What? The deputy director's flying up from DC to see us. This is big news. <laughs> oh yeah, he cut off her finger. Of course they'd have those old school computers there. Why? Because it looks cool. Hell yeah, dude. He is stocking up. Why is Adam Clay on this rampage? 
he's um, protecting the hive, <laughs> a SWAT team for starters, surveillance support, additional agents, analysts. Whatever you have, it's not going to be enough. All right, everybody, listen up. It's roll call times. I'm getting ready. Oh, this is another scam office. You can't be in here. We're the guys keeping you alive. Shut it down now. Hutcherson must be connected with somebody, right? For him to get all this protection like this, him and his cronies. I want a body on comms watching. Delivery dock, same deal. Stay the SWAT team, man. They got no shot. Hey, there are no other entrances. <laughs> Someone scout the service tunnel. The other option, instead of going in, is to smoke them out. <laughs> Currently, I go by Adam Clay. <laughs> Trust me. If there was a back entrance, I would have used it. He's warning you. It is what it is. Somebody detain this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See the kick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Very nice. Just cleaned him up. Why are you fucking with my business? Cause Mr. West, wild heart. I'm kind of digging uh, Hutcherson's little fit there. Very Miami douchebag chic. Oh man. He's already in the building. Whoever doesn't want to die this evening can in an orderly fashion. Leave now. Oh, dude, I'm moving. I'm getting out of there. Fuck this. Some of them will get hurt. Let's start with this prick right here. <laughs> How do you miss? Let's see what he's got. Oh shit. You know who you're working for? None of my fucking business. I'm just the guy they call when there's a problem. Let's go. You are a problem. Goddamn right I'm a problem. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Fire. 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 This movie has fun little touches like that. I'm not waiting. Oh, me. No! What are you gonna do? This dude just took out like 30 people. You think you're just gonna go in there and take them out? You done? <laughs> oh. Bombs away. Oh, wow. Ooh, a little parkour there. But I think my theory is correct about the hat thing. Like, he's definitely not doing all these stunts. I know Statham is in shape, and he knows how to do his action, but there's definitely some stuntmen involved, for sure. You're making a lot of money here. Uh, tell me where it's all going. I don't know that. You know. Ah! 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 <laughs> He's playing around with this guy. She was the only person who ever took care of me. There we go. Finally got the beekeeper to open up just for a tiny moment. I told you they were untouchable. Nobody's untouchable. Not to him. Sometimes when the hive is out of balance, you have to replace the queen. <laughs> they keep making all these analogies to bees. I love it. But we have laws for these things. You have laws for these things until they fail. Damn straight. Taking law into his own hands. <laughs> Get that shit out of here, man. Four, uh, four kids. I know. Three boys and a girl. Like, I spared you, bro. Holy shit. They must know who he is. You're scared. I and you want to use my mother as a human shield. Who's his mother, though? I'm at the beach house. You're welcome to join if you behave. Oh, is she like the president or something? Yes, ma'am. I'm babysitting. Madam President, Madam. food me the wall. Wow, what a reveal. In a beehive, there is something called a queen slayer. Queen slayer. Kill the queen, 
if she produces defective offspring. I'm learning a lot about bees in this movie. Seriously, I mean, expert after watching this one. Adam Clay's next victim is Derek Danforth's mother. President Danforth. Oh, yeah. He has a little talent, doesn't he? It's absolutely fucking terrifying. <laughs> hmm. Fuck, bro! Had your best to soak off, huh? Who's this guy? Like, Ron Perlman's son? You're looking at me. Mm -hmm. How is any of this my fault? It's all your fault, bro. My team will be our short team. Ain't that right, money man? Okay, so he's like a mercenary. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I like this. Nice. <laughs> he swapped uniforms with him. Very nice. Of course, this dude would be doing rails in the Oval Office. You didn't hear the giant marine helicopter land on the front lawn. It's cool seeing Statham getting back into gear here, because I feel like he got bogged down too much with those, the, like, expendables. That's garbage. I'm sorry, but it is. And the Fast and Furious movies, man, they haven't been good since P-Dubs died. So I think this is building up to a, probably going to be a pretty good action scene here. My man looking sharp. Are you familiar with uh, United Data Group? United Data Group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I invested in that. Yeah, I think I recall that. It's like, that's your company, man. Yeah, that was, uh, that's more of like a consulting type role. Bullshit, bro. Algorithmic data mining software package developed by the intelligence community. I gotta hand it to him, man. Jay Hutcherson, he's killing this role. as playing this twerpy, hateable tool. He's in the house. Assault team, saddle up! Of course he's in the house. Where else would he be? Now turn the fuck around! That's probably his stunt double right there. Dude, just look just like him. Lace your fingers behind your head. Oh, you see that? He's got a little something. Beekeeper, huh? God's right there. Is that a little, like, detonator thing? As long as this motherfucker's breathing, he's armed. You're not fucking executing him. Breathing. To be or not to be? Is he that the bloody question? <laughs> to be or not to be? Go take. B. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Talk to me, people. I need news. Hutcherson's getting a little nervous there. Oh, there's the super kick I was talking about. Statham is kicking ass in this movie. I love it. How did you think you got elected? I was going to win with or without your help. Oh, so he used his shady scam money to fund her campaign? I taught CIA software to hunt money and, and not terrorists. You're both crooked. Don't you think if you were, I know we're rooting for Statham, but if I was one of those SWAT guys, I'd be standing like in the background like around a corner. These people like are getting all up in his face and stuff. Like you're gonna lose, bro. I'm telling him the truth about what you did, Derek. Then I'm telling the entire nation. That's the right thing to do. Imagine living your whole life. You know, you're just like middle-aged guy, middle income, and you run into the beekeeper and it's just over in two seconds. Here we go. Now here's a showdown right here. And this is like a boss match in a game. Oh. Oh, he got him. Took out the prosthetic leg. Oh, yeah. It's over for you. Whew. 
Ooh. Fatality. <laughs> the beekeeper wins. That was sick. It's gone far enough. You proved your point. It's just personal. It's like, shut up. Get out of my way, man. I'm going to finish this. I believe there's good in the universe. Yeah, well, we agree. I mean, that's, yep. that's my view. Until the damn full family bought you. This is about morals and integrity. Ah, now have a seat. Go oh, sit down, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you put that down. Here. 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 Whoa. Jesus. That's fucking real right there. Oh, shit. Derek is unhinged right now. Oh, for justice. <laughs> Is Hutcherson really holding up his mom? Bye, mom. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just yeet it out the window. No, no, I want my thing. Did you see how fast of a quick draw you had? I want my No, I No. Damn. R.I.P. Josh Hutcherson. Uh, she's gonna let him go. Goodbye, Adam Clay. They respected each other. <laughs> He's throwing on his scuba gear. Oh, that's a that's a good getaway. Very smart. And that's it. That's it. Credits. I guess that goes towards what I was saying about the movie. It knows what it is. It doesn't want to waste your time. Hell yeah, I'm down with that. Okay, well, that was the beekeeper. Kick your ass. And I don't know about you, but I thought that that was a really fun time. It's been a minute since we've had a really good action movie. I guess John Wick 4, but it had the problem that I have with a lot of other movies where it was just too long. Whereas this knew what the deal was. And Statham crushed this. Like, he's still got it, man. I don't know, like, if he's in his 40s or his 50s. He's of beekeeping age, that's for sure. But he kicked major ass in this movie. I thought the villain was unique. I think everybody can get on board with us just eliminating that filth from the earth. And Josh Hutcherson just hamming it up, man. <laughs> I enjoyed his character. If... You want to see more action movies? I mean, I'd be down to do this in the future. It's not something I'm accustomed to, but I had fun watching this. Sure. Sure. Okay, I'm good. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe. <laughs> see, so normally I'd say, where's Stella? But I scared her off with my Muay Thai. See you later. Protect the bees, by the way.